Protesters in masks made their voices heard last night at an inland Port Authority board meeting at the Utah State Capitol. Several had to be removed from that meeting. They're demanding lawmakers and the proposed inland port. ABC 4's Jason Wynn live at the Capitol for us. And Jason, these activists were very vocal. Yes, they were, Emily, and a lot of them were in the hallway, dozens of people in the hallway yelling, abort the port, and then this happened. Take a look at your screen. One man forcibly removed from the meeting because he, according to troopers, handcuffed himself to the door leading into the meeting. Now, three other people were cited for interrupting an official government meeting. The port is supposed to go in the northwest part of Salt Lake City for a warehouse distribution and manufacturing facility. Some of the residents that are out in Magna say this is going to affect their health. Cancers on the west side of that valley already are so much higher than other parts of the valley and they're going to put more pollution, more strain right there in communities that are poor, that are already suffering. It's sick and it's wrong and it should be stopped. Salt Lake City's Mayor Jackie Biskipski took to Twitter after the protest because a lobbyist blocked the reporter from doing her job, stating, regardless of how you feel about the protest, no one should interfere with the work of a reporter trying to fairly cover a story, especially someone with deep connections to the government. Now, Emily and Brian, you know, government officials on both sides of the aisle of the Inland Port say they just hope the tensions will remain low so that they can continue to discuss this, and we're going to continue to follow the Inland Port, and we'll bring you the latest on ABC4.com. I'm Jason Wynn, live at the Capitol, ABC4 News.